This scene shows a P-47 Thunderbolt World War II fighter plane. The render is set to 1024 by 768 pixels. A camera named Camera 01 is in use in the scene. It is slightly tilted for a more dramatic shot of the plane. To create anaglyph images, you need two camera shots. The two cameras need to be slightly offset from each other. The distance between the cameras can be precisely calculated with complex formulas, but a good rule of thumb is a 30 to 1 ratio. This means the distance between the two cameras needs to be about 30 times smaller than the distance between the cameras and the subject. In this case, the camera target is already on the model, so the distance can be seen by selecting the camera and going to the Modify panel. The distance from the camera to the model is about a thousand units. This means the distance between the two cameras should be around 30 to 35 units. Rename this camera Camera L for left and display it in the bottom left viewport. Using the Move tool in Local mode, clone this camera on its local X axis about 35 units to the right. In the Clone Options dialog, ensure the clone is a copy and name it Camera R. Display the new camera in the bottom right viewport. The two shots are almost identical. The very slight shift is at the heart of the anaglyph effect. Render the two views separately and save them as JPEG files. Call the right view Cam R and the left view Cam L. Once this is done, reset 3ds Max. If you wish, you can save your completed scene under a different name. In a new scene, create a plane primitive in the front view with dimensions that match the resolution of the images you saved, namely 1024 by 768. Set also the rendering output to 1024 by 768. Center the plane to 000, and then activate Show Safe Frames and frame the plane using zooms and pans so that it uses the whole area. Finally, turn the viewport into shaded mode by pressing F3 and disable the grid, G. Using the Slate Material Editor, create and apply a new standard material to the plane, make it 100% self-illuminated. Enable Show Map in Viewport. If you have a powerful graphics card, enable Show Hardware Map in Viewport for crisper results. In the Diffuse channel, apply a composite map. In the Layer 1 Texture channel, use the Cam L JPEG image you saved earlier. You need to color correct this texture by discarding its green and blue channels, zero. In effect, you are only using the red information of the image. Create a second layer and use the Cam R JPEG image in the texture channel. Color correct this new texture by disabling its red channel making the picture cyan in nature. One last thing remains, you need to set layer 2 blending mode to addition. And there you have it. Using 3D anaglyph glasses, you can now view the P47 in 3D as it sticks out of your computer monitor. You can render the image out if you need to view it outside of 3ds Max. In that case, avoid using JPEG files when rendering 3D anaglyphs. PNG and BMP5 formats work much better.